people approach their work week in their lives, they get 168 hours, regardless of where they work, who they are, how long they've been there. They get 168 hours. But within that 168 hours, they'll visit all kinds of website sites, they'll entertain all kinds of email that are not important, they'll send jokes, they'll send this and they'll send that. They'll cram into their day as much as they can, cram into their week, they'll stay up a little later, they'll watch a little more TV, they'll listen to the radio the minute they pop in, they get into the car, they'll pop on the, the, some station, they'll play a CD. We've gotten to the point where we're wired and on all the time. But there are temporal limits just like there are structural limits. Time limits. How much we can take in in a given amount of time. We use the week of 168 hours. So what I'm telling you is we need stretches where there is nothing to do. And this is getting harder and harder. In his 1932 book, Aldous Huxley said in Brave New World, People are afraid to be alone now. People are afraid of silence. We make them uncomfortable to be alone, uncomfortable to have silence, uncomfortable to be doing nothing. And we see this over and over again. And so it behooves us individually to say, I have a right to sit on the porch and just look at the cars pass by. I have a right to, to sit in the hammock, lie in the hammock, I owe it to myself to read this trashy novel, or this wonderful novel, or whatever I happen to be reading, because my work is so intense otherwise, because I do so much more during the work week, because I have so much to do just managing this household. But what happens is, when you're getting so much done, and there's so much more to be done, and there's such a bombardment of things competing for our attention, we get into, are you ready for this? We get into the, a human doing type of mode. We abandon the human being that we have been, and we become human doings. And it's scary. Once you're a human doing, you'll cut out any kind of leisure or worthwhile activity that doesn't make the quote to-do list once you're a human doing, getting things done becomes the be-all and end-all. And that wasn't what anybody envisioned before you got into your careers. That's not what you envisioned when you were in college or graduate school. That's not what you're envision envisioning as you proceed up the ladder of your respective organizations. The people at the very top continually figure out how to carve out time for themselves. They recognize the temporal limits in a week, in a month, in a year, and in a career. Very important. Now I'm going to go a step further. Anything that you do on an average of 30 minutes a day, let's say a seven day average of 30 minutes, ends up consuming an entire year of your career. How could this be so? Suppose you get out of college at 22, suppose you work to age 70. That's a 48 year span, right? All right. Now, if you do something an average of 30 minutes a day, let's say clean the house, or something you don't want to be doing, but your seven-day average is 30 minutes, one half of an hour is to 24 hours, as one half of a year is to 24 years. Commutative principle of arithmetic has to be. And one half of a year is to 24 years, as one year is to 48 years. Said another way, anything that you do for a 30-minute daily average in the course of your career cumulatively takes up one solid year of your 48-year career. Not a year of 9 to 5 on weekdays, a 24-7, 365-day year. So what that tells us is, we need to be delegating as much as we can. We need to find help domestically. If somebody will cut the grass for you for $10 or whatever it is, and you don't like mowing the lawn, go ahead and pay somebody else. Free up your mental, emotional, 
semantic space so that you'll be better at work. Every time you take care of a domestic task that you don't need to be doing, you potentially add to your ability on the job. You potentially add to your career. Every time you can take care of something at work by effectively leading others and managing others to take care of that, you free yourself up for the bigger picture, the bigger thinking taking the group, the department, the division, where they need to go. So as often as possible, I want you to, to respect the temporal limits in your life, just like you would the structural limits, just like we can only put so many bricks on this table. You can only get so much into a day, a week, a month, a year, and a career. And it is exceedingly simple math, but we all lose track of that. I lose track of that on occasion, and then I come back.